A federal judge has ruled the state of Indiana must provide a transgender surgery to an inmate serving prison time for murder, igniting a heated response from the state and highlighting ongoing tensions and debate over state laws and the constitutional rights of incarcerated individuals. This is Autumn Cordelione, who used to go by Jonathan Richardson. The inmate is currently serving a 55-year prison sentence in an all-male state prison for strangling an 11-month-old to death, who was the inmate's stepdaughter. The inmate filed a lawsuit in 2023 with the help of the American Civil Liberties Union of Indiana, challenging a state law that prohibits taxpayer funding for medical procedures for transgender individuals in prison. The court ruling in the ACLU's favor. The judge in the case saying the transgender surgery is part of the inmate's treatment for gender dysphoria, a condition the inmate was diagnosed with in 2020. The court has ordered the Indiana Department of Corrections to take all reasonable actions to facilitate the requested procedure to transition to female. The ACLU releasing a statement, today marks a significant victory for transgender individuals in Indiana's prisons. Denying evidence-based medical care to incarcerated people simply because they are transgender is unconstitutional. We are pleased that the court agreed. The state attorney general says the legal fight isn't over, promising to appeal and predicting this to be a matter for the highest court. These cases are bubbling up all over the country. I anticipate that whether it's this case or one just like it, you're going to see, you're going to have to see the U.S. Supreme Court finally make a decision. And the decision should be pretty easy. Hey, thanks for watching our news update. For more stories that matter to you, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit us online at san.com.